everyone. So in today's installment of Magical Herbs, I wanted to focus on the bay leaf. Now the bay leaf is used a lot in um, cooking, but it also has a history going very, very, very far back. It's actually um, one of the sacred trees um, of Apollo, and it was also used by the oracle at Delphi when doing um, divination. So it has a very, very long history of use, both magically and culinary, as well as some medicinal uses. Um, but today I just want to focus on the magical uses um, for ourselves, for, you know, our everyday witchy stuff. So the most potent part of the bay leaf, really, that it's focused on a lot, it has to do with psychic powers and divination. Um, it's, it's thought that the smell, ingesting it or smelling it, you know, burning as incense helps to increase psychic powers. Um, so the way to do this is just to burn some as incense when you're doing a divination reading or stuff like that. The Oracle at Delphi, what she was actually doing was taking, you know, one of these leaves and these are the dried form and, um, chewing them. I think she would chew the fresh ones though because the dried ones would get kind of splintery. Um, but um, the only warning I can give you is that it's kind of really intense flavor-wise. I've never had to use it for that, or that directly for psychic increase of abilities. But um, the warning, though, is it's it's pretty strong herb for the, in that regard, so it might be a little bit more of a wild ride if you're not really uh, ready for it. The other thing that bay leaf is very, very good for is um, protection and hex breaking. It's a very strong herb. It's very good at breaking negativity, getting rid of negativity, um, just warding off the evil. It's a very good, like, a shield plant, if you will. It doesn't so much absorb, but kind of bounces away all that, that stuff. Um, and that's more to do kind of with its fact that it's um, one of the correspondences it has is with this is the sun that's its planetary correspondence and it's so you know if you've ever been with the sun you know the light it kind of burns away a lot of you know bad stuff um, it can also burn away a lot of good stuff but it you know in the sense of um, protection hex breaking it kind of burns through the bad stuff and leaves you kind of shielded away from that um, and in terms of purification, they're very good to use as a bath, to make, take a, you know, purification bath. Um, they're, um, it just, the same way that it does the protection, it kind of cleanses the whole area, it kind of, you know, obliterates the bad and, and pops it right off that's what is good for purification purposes. So anything that you need to purify, you know, sprinkle some bay leaf waters or tea on it or, you know, go through some bay leaf incense or or any of that or do a bay leaf wash. Um, will purify whatever or whoever needs it. Um, a slightly lesser focused on one is healing. Now, it's a very good healing herb in the sense that it it guards against illness attaching itself to you so it's not so much a healing herb that will help pull one out of sickness but it helps prevent sickness from entering so a lot of people will probably be wondering like oh well, why use it you know if you're sick why else would i you know why else would i need a healing herb you know if if I'm well well even if you're not well if you have if you're doing a working to get rid of an illness a lot of times when people are sick they tend to go through multiple illnesses at once you know what start might start out as one thing will lead to another illness will lead to like it's like a little like domino effect so this is very good to use in healing to kind of prevent that domino effect from occurring because what it really does it's just um illness is seen kind of like as another form of you know the bad stuff the evil stuff and it will do the shield thing it'll prevent you know the illness from attaching itself to you um in the sense of wish magic 
Now, someone can make the argument that almost all magic is wish magic, and, you know, I can kind of see that point. But um, in the sense of wish magic, it's kind of similar to the sage leaf. Um, if you write down your petition or request on the bay leaf, just like you do on the sage leaf, the only difference is with the sage, you put it under your pillow, and then, you know, you see if you dream about it for three days in a row. Um... And if your dream, if you do dream about your wish during those three days, then it'll be granted. If it's not, you know, you have to take it out and bury it far away from where you're living and get rid of it that way. But for the bay leaf, what you do in the spell work is you write down your petition here. And some of them can be pretty big. I mean, just to give you an estimate. So, you know, try and look for the big ones. <laughs> If you have a long petition, but um, writing it and then burning it as part of your spell work, because with the with the, the the protection and the psychic power aspect to it, this guy won't let any bad negativity get attached to it. And by burning it, you kind of send it into that other realm where a lot of I don't know how to explain it, but similar to the same the same realm that you would tap into with divination, it kind of sends it to that same realm to kind of make its workings upon this one. So it's a very good um, wish magic herb in the sense that, you know, you can write it, you can burn it and send it off to the place where it needs to go to actually um, work on your life without having any fear of anything negative being able to kind of grab hold while it's you know on its way there so this is i think that's it for this installment of my magical herbs um again like with any of the herbs like this one is edible so you can definitely um use it in your kitchen magic you know a really cute way if you have a little bit of food coloring and a toothpick is to write a petition on here and then put it in your soups and stews for example you know um that sort of kitchen witchery type stuff um, is very, very, very good to, to kind of use. Um, the other thing too that you can use and that I've known some people use is they grind these up and then they use the powder in the soups and stuff so that way they don't have to fish this out. A good thing to do might be to charge one of these with a certain aspect like say love or harmony, grind it up and then just use it whenever you need that. You know, whenever you want to use the flavor in your cooking but you want to add that certain property into the food. So, I hope that this installment has been helpful. Oh, sh I don't can't remember if I told you guys all the correspondences. I'm sorry. So, bay leaf is a masculine herb. The element is fire. And its planetary correspondence is the sun. So, I'm sorry if you guys have heard it already. I just wanted to make sure that it's in there. And um, with that, I'll let you guys go. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.